Okay, this is a quick video I'm going to do. This is on a product that I had a small hand in, uh, but the creator is Reginald Edwards. Um, I'm sure you've seen some of his products, his uh, uh, wedges for passing quarterbacks. Um, he's made a lot of different things. And he uh, asked me if I had any ideas on things that could be created that could help the hobby out. And... The first thing I thought of, I have a grandson, so I want to get my grandson into playing electric football. And the main thing that I think he would struggle with is setting up the offensive line uh, without, you know, hitting the defensive line or bunching them together. Um, the other thing is, even as adults, I've been noticing that we have had some problems with uh, neutral zone more than anything. Neutral zone violations, especially with a lot of the figures with hands that reach across the line of scrimmage. So... I thought it would be a good idea to make something or have something made that kind of take care of both problems. So the neutral zone, which is, you know, basically the area that neither the offense or defense should be inside of. And you definitely shouldn't have one side touching the other side. Uh, in my opinion, the offensive line, they establish the line of scrimmage, the center. And then the defense has to honor or respect the space between the the, the, the center and uh, the front of the base or extending arms of the defender since we don't have an invisible barrier to stop that or a visible barrier to stop that that was something that i asked him to come up with the other thing is about the the line spacing between uh each offensive lineman every league or solitaire player has a different idea of what they want for spacing full base width half base width uh, uh eighth eighth of an inch quarter of it, whatever it is i'm sure he can make them based on what width you want, I prefer full base width. Some people prefer half base width. Some people say, like I said, eighth, quarter inch, whatever. This is the full base width. And I had him set the center forward a little bit. Uh, so the center is a little bit ahead. So this is the back of it. So you would set your offense in like this. And he left the outsides open, uh, which I like so the tackles can be pivoted out. If you want to angle them out, but you'll still be having your space. This is the actual space in between. This is where the figures would go. So that's what it would look like with the line in the spacers. I put them in there uh, off camera, speed up the time. And so this is what it would look like from the rear. Okay, it would look like that. So they're there in their respective spaces. Like I said, depending on what your league or your solitaire uh, preference is the spacing. He can make it for that. It doesn't have to be this width or whatever, but it just keeps people honest. Sometimes deliberately people uh, violate the spacing. Sometimes just the speed of the game, the heat of the moment, you know, you bump a guy, whatever, he closes his space. So this prevents all of that. So like I said, you put it in there. You put them in there. You can put them in there like this and slide it to the line of scrimmage. Or you can have it at the line of scrimmage, tack them in. I, I'd rather put them in like this, say the line of scrimmage is 30, and then I can move them up. I don't I put them up like that. See, I don't put them at the 30. I put him where this this is at the 30. So there's that space where he's not really violating it. Or actually, I'm going to put it. I'm sorry, I'm going to put it up. Okay, I'll put it up like that. Okay? So then all I have to do is grab this and slide back. Right? Now I got my space. Now, the other part of it is the actual neutral zone separator. This is, I'm not sure how thick we went. I think we went, uh, we discussed an eighth of an inch thick. So that's, this is a gate that's going to go in the front of this here. And it goes in there pretty easy and it comes out easy, right? So you get it in there just like that. And then it comes out. And out, right? So. What I would do is, two different ways you can probably do it. You can set your line up, <clears throat> this, right? <clears throat> Put it up there like that. Move it to the line of scrimmage, wherever it is. Lift, pull. Right? So it took about five seconds. 
The other way you can do it is put the, the, the neutral zone gate up first and put your line in there. <clears throat> right? Move it towards the line of scrimmage, wherever the line of scrimmage is you desire. Pull up the gate, then you pull it back. So I think it's cool. It, it actually turned out a lot better uh, than I thought it was. We just talked about it uh, over the phone and, and through messages, and he nailed it. Um, I think it's cool. Like I said, worst case scenario, let's say you just want to use a spacer. You got a spacer. Um, if you want to just use a neutral zone, you can do that. It's going to be a neutral zone and a spacer, but it, can, it comes out really easy, but it's, it's steady. It's not like you got to pry it out. It goes right in, comes out. So I think it's a good tool. Um, contact him. Uh, I'm sure he's, like I said, we're kind of winging it right now, trying to figure out, you know, uh, what it's worth, what he should charge, what's a fair price. Um, but I think it's a good product. I, I stand behind it. And I think it'll keep people honest uh, as far as the neutral zone. Here, I'm going to put that up there again so you can see that neutral zone again from the side. Do this really quick before I end the video. Okay, so let's say that line of scrimmage is the 30 or whatever. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the defense up there. So line of scrimmage is 30. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that 30. And then let's see you got defense lining up there like that. See now you wouldn't want to touch it. That's kind of telling you you're too close. So if you put put them up there like that. Right? That neutral zone is established. Okay? And then I can lift this up. And then I can pull back. Now you're ready to play. And you can look down the line. You can see nobody's offside. Okay? There's, there's not a real uh, handsy defender. We're reaching across like this. That would be probably a better way to, you know, do it. But you would know that when you line up a guy like that, you don't want to touch that gate because that's, that's the neutral zone. So that would be your barometer to know. Instead of having an invisible line trying to see what not to cross, that gate serves as that barrier. So, again, Original Edwards, uh, great product. Uh, I stand behind a lot of his other products, too. This one here, I think, is a can be a big game changer and a good tool. I wish Tudor or somebody would you know, possibly get in touch with them, see if they can make some of these, uh, put it in the box with the, the boards. I think it'll help, especially beginners, but it can help some of the advanced players, too. Uh, and league play and stuff like that and you can see it didn't take long for me to set it up and pull it out of there and get it out of the way and whatever little time it may have taken i think it's worth it so um if you have any questions like i said contact me or contact reginald edwards uh, i'll be in touch with him and let him know what i thought about it i just got it uh yesterday so um i'll give him my review on it which is a plus and uh we'll go from there thanks